what the fact that you threw 80% of your votes behind the Democrats that put the Democrats in the White House. When you see this, you can see that the Negro vote is the key factor. And despite the fact that you are in a position to, de to be the determining factor, what do you get out of it? South Carolina politics is about race. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's about controlling race. I'm Paisley Moore with your Black Collective Daily. Controversy surrounding Charleston politics involving the leaked audio of Charleston County Council Chairman Elliot Semi. One of the biggest Republican consultants told me to run a Democrat. He looked at the numbers and said, you have 43% African Americans in your district. They're all voting for you. You don't matter what you say to them. Don't even concentrate on them. We need you to go walk these white neighborhoods, knock on these doors. That vote will be there. She's ignorant. And I, and I can't deal with that. I just can't. I, I don't deal with that in my own children. It's like, that's dealing with a five-year-old. And I'm like, wake up. Why are you here? If you can't understand, then don't be here. Shut up. The leaked audio verified Charleston's black community skepticism of the Semi family and their political involvement within the heavily populated African American areas. Several community leaders and activists have called for the resignation of Elliot Semi, who refuses to step down and has yet to be censured for his alleged misconduct. I don't want no apology. I don't accept your apology. For so, for so long, we have been getting the same story from racist politicians who lie in our face. And they tell us that you have our best interests in mind, and then behind closed doors, you turn around and do something like that. And the thing is, you always get mad when you see young black people in the street, we ride against white supremacy, we ride against oppression, and we go and we boycott and do things like that. You get mad and you call us stupid, but it's because of people like you and your tongue that it makes us fire and these young people, and you get them and you wake them up and you make us smash up with you. Because we sick and tired of being sick and tired and being on the races like you. When I have to come in 2016 to stand for the honor of a black woman with a person that's supposed to be a chairperson of a county council in Charleston, South Carolina, this is an insult to me. Insult. Yes, we are part of that 42%. And like uh, my friend just said, we can organize. We may do a right against you. And I am appalled at this council here without any type of public reprimand. Amen. Without any without reprimand. It's not like people on the county council and, 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 and you and you don't think y'all look like John C. Calhoun putting in that work, taking us out. This is this is ludicrous, man. This is crazy what y'all let happen out. I ain't no wonder why you talk about y'all like y'all some dogs. Cause y'all let them do that. Stop letting the white boys play us like that, man. Oh, now you're going too far. I ain't going no too far because I'm really dying out here. And I'm gonna keep you off the track. And I don't care if I die. You can still be walking there and say, but I'm in your dad. Then in my dad. Then your dad. Then not in my dad. I'm just dying out here. And I'm telling you, they can say all this. He's been buying that property. Do that with his daddy. Elder Johnson, let me say this, sir. You can't say nothing to me because you know they're racist and you sit right there and stand by and let them do what they do to us. You are nothing. I'm sorry, Mr. Darby Johnson and probably y'all got to stop letting white boys do that. Thank you. 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 Get away to the party crowd. That's what that, I mean, that's what Joe, that smart did. He got rid of it, and that's how he survived. But after he moved all the African Americans out of the police. You look at North Austin, you're doing all the development right now. You're doing it uh, past actually Fox Bay Road, which basically economically black people can't afford to move. And you're importing white from other places so that they can work in places like Bowen. And you're manipulating the political process down here. You're taking the vote from being majority black to majority white, and you're making our house an affordable to move us out of the city. So I understand what you were saying about Joe Robin because you're doing it. Like I said, I'm not a militant. I try to stick to common sense, I try to stay away from emotion. But I'm not interested in your politics because I know your heart. And I'm gonna tell you, I told your daddy this last year. I'm gonna make it my mission to leave higher parts all over your political career. I'm coming for you.
Rumors of a potential apology tour supported by local pastors has the Charleston activist community on high alert. They are promising to protest those churches, allowing Elliot Semi to use their influential platform to sway public sentiment among the African American community, which is a pacifying method activists say was commonly used on plantations dating back to slavery. Stay tuned as the story develops. I'm Paisley Moore with your Black Collective Daily.